Hi, I'm Rob with Firecom, and today I'm going to show you how to modify the ruggedizer on your headset if you need to use a direct wire connection. You're going to need a couple of basic things. First is a pair of scissors. Second is the screwdriver that came with your headset. Or alternatively, if that has disappeared, you can use a small ballpoint pen and a small screwdriver as well. To start with, you're going to want to take your screwdriver and slide the handle as far back in between the headband and the dome as you can. Hold it in there with two fingers and squeeze the headband towards the dome and that will release the ball and socket. Alternatively, if you have a behind the head version, the operation is the same. Just pull it back in, squeeze, and the dome will release. Once you've done that, simply Peel your ruggedizer off the dome and off of the mic boom. You turn your ruggedizer inside out, you'll see a groove that lines up with the direct wire port on the back of the headset. The easiest way to start this cut is to fold the ruggedizer over across those grooves. Take the tip of your scissors and just make a small nick across that line. Then very carefully run your scissors around and the silicone here is very soft and cuts easily and carefully trace around the rest of that groove. Once this has been cut, it's actually so soft you can often just run the scissors along the line and it'll open right up. Come back to where we've started and there's our part removed. And turn the ruggedizer back inside out and slide your mic boom into the correct hole. Slide it back on. The easiest way to do this is to hook the bottom on where the mic boom comes out and then Work it around both sides and up over the top. Make sure everything is lined up. Line your headband back up with the dome. Cross your fingers over and squeeze until you hear the dome snap back in. Once you're there, you want to take the tip of your screwdriver and pop the door for the direct wire port up. You can fold that back. Take your PR cable for whichever device you want to connect, plug it in, and then gently seat the screw down. You want to be careful doing this not to over tighten it. It's nice to use a small screwdriver uh, to that end. Once you've got that, in this case we have a small Motorola radio, you can plug your wire into that and your kit is ready to go. So now that you've got your radio connected, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the push to talk functionality of the headset and keying your different radios. On a standard setup like this, uh, if the headset is paired into an apparatus, both push to talk buttons on the headset will key the mobile radio on that apparatus. If you want to use the handheld radio, you use the push to talk on that and you can still talk through your headset. If you would like to use split push to talk, uh, you can set it up so that the push to talk button on the right dome will key the radio on the apparatus and the left push to talk will key the radio on your handheld. That way you can have instant access right or left to whichever radio you need to use. If you have any additional questions about your headset or its features, uh, you can check out our website at www.firecom.com and look for the customer support page. Thank you.